This chain of vulnerabilities that I'm about to present you will allow any registered user to hijack the admin account of a web hosting control panel and run arbitrary commands as root over the network, also known as remote command execution. So let's dissect this chain of vulnerabilities and how they can combine into an exploit. Hello world, I'm Zenit, your friendly neighborhood hacker and the host of this episode of CVE Deep Dive. Now this vulnerability was found in the Vesta CP control panel. But what is Vesta CP? Vesta CP is an open source control panel for web hosting platforms, similar to something like cPanel. It allows you to quickly install apps, manage DNS, websites, mail, databases, and much more from a web interface, a command line interface, and even a REST API. Let's do a quick rundown of some of the vulnerabilities before we move on to the fun part, the exploit. Now don't get me wrong, most of these vulnerabilities are, if not all, are still used for the attack. They're just not what you would call very exciting per se, but combined they make a remote command execution. First of all, to use the REST API, you need to generate some API keys. Now these API keys are stored in the file system and are readable by everybody. By abusing symlinks and the REST API, a user can delete arbitrary files and directories using root privileges. The, P the PHP sessions has sessions stored in the slash user slash local slash vesta slash data slash sessions and an attacker can issue a get HTTP call to get arbitrary directory files listing, thus allowing them to read and obtain any session ID that is stored on the server for any logged in user. Additionally, the file manager has over 13 CSRF vulnerabilities that could be exploited by attackers. Three different API endpoints are vulnerable to reflected XSS. The edit web, the edit file and directory preview. Most of those do an improper job of sanitizing characters. Sessions are tied to the original IP of the session, but that log could be bypassed when requests originate from 1 to 7001. Home sweet home. And an attacker can inject the host header by abusing the password reset functionality. But let's take a closer look at the vulnerabilities that do the real damage. The function get upload path in the upload handler checks the get parameter dir. However, this parameter can be used to bypass the intended function use. This is what makes some of the previous vulnerabilities like file listing possible in the first place. But one of the most critical vulnerabilities in this chain is a possible command injection as root. This vulnerability is possible thanks to the function update object value. This function uses evil as root and essentially is the core to run arbitrary code. Now this evil part can be reached by multiple Vesta features, some of which are email forwards that are not properly sanitized. The perfect entry point for a remote command execution attack. So let's take a closer look at the collection of Python scripts that actually exploit this chain of vulnerabilities and lead to a remote command execution. The file vestafunxpy contains an abstraction layer that is essentially a REST client for the Vesta API. It contains all the functions that are needed for this exploit like reset password, get session IDs, login, get web shell and many more. This is actually pretty neat and almost clean code, a rarity for exploits. The file Vesta Autopy is a command line tool that allows us to reproduce this attack. After supplying the username, password and host for the installed Vesta instance via the command line, the script tries to log in, get the web shell as user and then reads out all the sessions on the server. This is possible since we have this arbitrary read vulnerability discussed before. So now this script can extract all the sessions that are stored as file on the server and get the IDs of those sessions by calling the upload API and abusing the dir parameter. After fetching all the sessions, it looks for the admin session, resets the password and logs in as the admin. 
The reset key for that is stored in the session data that we get from the server. Then the script can again use the get web shell functionality to get an admin web shell and become root. But let's see this in action. As you can see, the attacker needs to wait for an admin user to log in before they can hijack the session. But after that, they are able to run commands in a shell as root on the target host. Now the important part here is that the attacker already needs an account for this instance. Otherwise, this doesn't work. The file Vesta rootpy takes a slightly different approach. After getting a web shell for the provided credentials, it creates a mailbox and places a backdoor via that mailbox. Then the attacker gets a handcrafted shell. A wonderful RCE exploit in the wild. They are the holy grail of bug bounties and very dangerous when they occur. But luckily they really don't happen that often. Or do they? Let's find out in this episode of CVE Deep Dive where I talk about Rocket Chat and another RCE.